Hey lovelies, it's your girl Josie. I am glad to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time stopping by here, oh, a warm welcome to you. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, I love and appreciate you all. I got another mind-blowing video for you. Can you see how transparent this liquid soap is? Can you? I will be showing you another simple method of making your own multipurpose liquid soap at the comfort of your home. This method is super convenient for those making it for business. You don't want to miss this, so stay glued to this video. Let's take a look at the chemicals and quantities needed for this production. Take note that all these chemicals can be gotten from your local market. All you need to do is ask questions. And these chemicals are so, so affordable. With just 5,000 francs, I was able to produce 20 liters of multipurpose, transparent, high-quality liquid soap. Without much ado, let's dive in. The first chemical we have is natrosol. Please, when buying your chemicals, always ask them to label the chemicals since most of them are in powder form, so you don't get confused. So we need 125 grams of natrosol for a 20 liter production. The second chemical we have here is soda ash and we need 250 grams of soda ash. The third chemical we have here is sodium lauryl sulfate, commonly called SLS and we need 125 grams of SLS. Next we have Texapon which looks like a gel and we need 250 grams of Texapon gel. Next we have caustic soda we need 50 grams of caustic soda. Next we have sodium tripolyphosphate and we need 50 grams of STPP. And then we have our fragrance. You can put in as much as you like, depending on your taste. Then we have our foaming booster. We will be using one quarter a liter of foaming booster. And we have our sulfonic acid. We'll be using half liter. And we have our preservative. We'll be using 30 centiliters. And lastly, our color. This is totally optional. You can choose to leave your liquid soap colorless. So these are all the chemicals we need. And here is our production basin and our spatula. And then to begin the procedure, we pour in water into our mixing bowl. And like I said before, our production is for 20 liters. So we start by pouring in our water and our water will be shared into two. In the main production bowl, we have 16 liters of water. And then in the smaller bowl beside, we have four liters of water. Take note. So in our main production bowl, that is into the 16 liters of water, we add in our natrosol. Natrosol acts as a thickener and gives your liquid soap that thick jelly-like consistency. So after adding in, we proceed to mix our natrosol. So we mix till it is well dissolved into the 16 liters of water. The secret to having a good liquid soap is to be able to mix your ingredients well. So we mix till it is well dissolved and then we proceed to add in soda ash. Please ensure you are putting on gloves before you venture into this procedure because some of these chemicals can actually irritates or burn the skin so we add in our soda ash and we stir that in well have you liked this video have you that's not fair now mm -mm. hit the like button below give this video a like that is so important to me it's going to help the algorithm to push out this video to the right people someone somewhere needs this video so just give us a like thank you so after stirring in the soda ash, we proceed to add in caustic soda. Caustic soda reacts with oil to form soap and contributes to the saponification process. It is equally a cleaning agent, 
but because of its harsh nature, we add in just 50 grams. Whenever you use any detergent and it peels off or burns your hand, know that caustic soda was added in excess. So 50 grams is just enough for a 20 liter production. So as you stir in the caustic soda, you realize that the mixture will begin to thicken up. So after stirring in our caustic soda, we set aside the 16 liter in the main production and then we move to the 4 liters of water and add in our STPP or sodium tripolyphosphate. Immediately after that, we pour in our SLS. SLS looks exactly like rice grains. And then we equally proceed to add in our Texapon. So into these 4 liters of water, we add in STPP, SLS and Texapon and then we stir them in together. Please, if it's your first time stopping by here, just hit the subscribe button to join this beautiful family where we share amazing recipes, DIYs, as well as health tips. So we stir these three ingredients till they are dissolved. This will take a little time because SLS actually takes some time to dissolve. So you keep stirring and as they dissolve, you will realize they will begin to foam. They will begin to lather. Just keep stirring till they are well dissolved. Once they are well dissolved, you come in now with a quarter liter of foaming booster. Foaming booster actually helps our soap to lather very well. So after adding in our foam booster, we proceed to stir that in well till all these four ingredients are well blended together. And then at this point, we move back to the main production bowl so it's time for us to blend all these two together and we do that by adding in bit by bit and mixing take note if you pour it in all at once you might form lumps and i guess you don't want lumps in your liquid soap right so you add in the four liters into the 16 liters bit by bit once you stir that in well before you add in the next batch so while doing that, let's proceed to have the uses of some of these chemicals. Soda ash actually helps to adjust the pH level of the soap and it is equally a cleaning agent. SLS is actually a foaming agent and it helps to remove oil and grease, meaning it is a cleaning agent as well. STPP is equally another cleaning agent and it helps our soap to lather in all types of water. Whether you're using your soap in hot or cold water, STPP will help you to lather very, very well. Texapon is a foaming agent and it helps emulsify oil. Sulfonic acid is another cleaning agent which helps to break down grease and dirt. So after mixing the both together and they are well blended. We proceed to add in our sulfonic acid. Pay attention to the reaction of this soap after adding in sulfonic acid. You will realize that it will begin to lather so much. That is very, very normal. Don't worry once you get that reaction. Just continue mixing. As you can see, the whole production is beginning to lather so badly. It simply means you are on the right direction. Just keep mixing till the sulfonic acid is well incorporated into the mixture. Let us take a look at our production. So let's gently push the foam apart and then let's look at our consistency. Just look at that. Just look at this. Can you see the consistency of this soap? Can you see how thick it is? So we proceed to add in our color and you just add in as much as you want. There is no specific measurement for color. But take note that once the foam settles the following day, the color is going to intensify. So take note that this color comes in powder form. So you have to dissolve it in a small amount of water before you add it inside. Because if you add in the color in powder form, it can form lumps. So we gently mix till the color is well incorporated into the mixture. And then we proceed to add in our preservative. We just pour in about 30 centiliters 
of our preservative. Preservative helps prevent microbial growth and therefore extends the shelf life of your liquid soap. So if your liquid soap is to be used within a month, then there is no need adding in any preservative. But those for business, since you don't know what amount of time you are going to use in selling, it's advisable to add in your preservative. And lastly, we add in our fragrance and then we equally stir that in. Can you see how easy it is to produce multi-purpose liquid soap at home? And this soap can be used for almost everything in cleaning the house, washing cars, washing dishes, washing dresses, cleaning surfaces and countertops, cleaning your offices, and so on and so forth. We have come to the end of this production and at this moment, we need to leave our soap untouched for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, this is what we have. Take a look at this soap. Guys, take a look at what we just produced. High quality, transparent, multi-purpose liquid soap that can easily be done at home. Is this a business idea to you? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And at this point, you are free to touch this soap with your bare hands. With the rising cost of everything in the market nowadays, including detergents, don't you think producing your own quality liquid soap to use in your house is very, very economical? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. I will proceed to transfer my liquid soap into some used water bottles. But if you are doing this for business, consider buying good plastic bottles from the same shops selling those chemicals. Just ask and you'll be given good plastic bottles for business. Half liter, one liter, 1.5 liter, five liters, and why not 10 liters? You will get it from all those shops selling these chemicals. Just take a look at our soap. See how transparent, see how glossy our soap is looking. And it actually lathers so well. I have two other recipes of liquid soap on this channel you might want to check that out if you have watched up to this extent i want to take this time to appreciate you thank you for the support click on the video that appears on your screen and learn how to produce a quality dishwashing liquid soap with just a few ingredients click on that video right now and i will see you there see you in a moment thank you